Here's my welder setup, right? So I use a, an OmniPro 220. I've got 7525 argon oxygen gas. I set it on about eight pounds. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. So this is how you adjust that if you ever need to. So once you turn this thing on, it's really so simple, right? But pretty much all stock metal is going to be around 18 gauge on a car like this because it's nice solid steel. So what you do is you come over here, you hit the home button. We're, we're MIG welding with steel, okay? We're using 7525 gas. We're using uh, 35 wire, so we changed it to 35, 18 gauge, and if I wanted to make it bigger, I, I would change this dial, but we're at 18 gauge, which is perfect. And then you hit this, and that's it. Now your welder is completely set for the metal that you're gonna use, right? Okay. So then, all you do is you hook up your ground, we just ground this down, so you can see that. Now we got nice ground. Now, normally when you're welding these thinner metals or holes, sometimes you get burned through. So what I like to do is I use a backing thing. It's this little tool. This is like brass or copper, I can't remember. But it's magnetic, so it just sticks to the backside. Now, ideally, you would want to put this here and weld the backside because whatever this is against, there's no kind of welding underneath there. So. So this we'll do is we'll put this here, and if you look, you want to tighten up that gap. There's a little gap right there. So this has a little adjustment set screw. See the little gap right there? Mm -hmm. So you'll just adjust that. So now it's nice and tight there, right there. Let me just do a little bit more. There we go. So now, now you don't have you have virtually almost no burn through. And then you get your gloves on, get your hood on, get your trigger. Look at it, and then you say, okay, here we go. You're not grounded. And that's it. That's how you weld a hole. It's simply, it really is just that easy. And then you repeat the whole process. We're not going to be using the Chevelle emblem, I decided. The Chevelle little gauges, so I'm just going to weld them up. That way it's just cleaner. And if somebody wants to add them later whenever they buy the car, that's on them. No burn through at all. It's just so, so simple. Just keep moving it around. There we go. Good one. Good one. Here. So if you didn't have access, would you have to take the panel off and then just do it that way? Uh, you could do that or, or you know you can always weld it without a backing plate, but a backing plate definitely makes it a lot easier. So now we got them all welded up, and then you want to see it kind of ground down. And you see there was no burn through there because, well, it's, it's really pretty straightforward. So then, Use my little mini grinder from Harbor Freight, the cheap one. Cheap, not cheap. This is 24 grit roll lock. Buy the 3M stuff, it's a lot better.
There we go. All welded up. It really is just that simple.